Hello everyone, welcome to my channel, your place for news and gameplay. Some good, some bad, and let's be honest, likely some rage and tilting. If you like what you see, please consider subscribing and hitting that bell for notifications. In today's episode, we'll take a look at some more test server action. Specifically, again, we're looking at the pilots that have been introduced in the test server, as well as the anti-control module, the death mark, as well as the advanced repair reunit. So before I get into some gameplay, let's quickly look at my hangar. I did notice one difference, so I'll get to that in a, in a minute here. So if we look, first off, I'm going to be running the Bulwark with Avengers. And I have the Last Stand, the Anti-Control, as well as a Thermal Nuclear Reactor running the Advanced Repair Unit. And the pilot itself has the Bulwark ability of all active modules in the Bulwark recharge faster. The energy shields recharge faster, I put on it, as well as the physical shield has an increased durability. Now if we go to the next spot, which is the invader, it's running Corona and Halo, also with a last stand anti-control, and I put a heavy armor unit on it, running the advanced repair unit, and its pilot has the uh, special ability that it has increased suppression effect, which I don't think will have too much of an impact on the test server if everybody happens to be running anti-control. Also, the other two abilities, the after activating its ability, the invader will repair a portion of its maximum durability, and all active modules on the invader recharge faster. So again, if we go to the next spot here, which is the Ares, and this is where I notice the difference into the pilot once I get there in a second. So I'm running Skirt and Spark with Anti-Control, Last Stand, and Thermal Nuclear Reactor. I put on this the Lockdown Ammo, because with the the uh, anti-control it there. I'm not sure if the anti-control is affected by lockdown ammo. When it goes to live server, in my opinion, if it is affected, it shouldn't be because you are paying power cells to actually use your lockdown ammo and therefore you're actually wasting power cells if you're shooting at a bot with lockdown ammo that happen to has anti-control. So I put it on here just to test to see if I happen to run across somebody that has the anti-control, if I can lock them down or not. But the pilot itself, this is where I noticed a difference. In the previous test servers, the special ability of the pilot was to increase the ability damage of the Ares by 25%. That's no longer the case. It's now its special ability is upon reaching a certain durability level, the Ares weapon damage increases by 10%. So in other words, you have to have the Ares take quite a bit of damage before this activates. The other two abilities I put on it is after activating its ability, the Ares repairs a portion of its durability, and that the Ares deals increased ability damage. So if we go back, look at the next spot here, we have the Aojun running Avengers, Last Stand Anti-Control Heavy Armor Kit with the Advanced Repair Unit, and its pilot has the special ability to increase weapon damage, but its durability is lowered by 5%. So to offset that, I've put in the skill to increase its durability by 15%. And after activating its ability, the Aojun repairs a portion of its maximum durability. So finally, if we look at the last spot here, I decided just to be, have a little bit of fun and put in the Spectre with Vortex. And I have the last stand and two thermal nuclear reactors. I purposely didn't put the anti-control on this bot because I didn't expect to be trying to brawl with it. So the only other change I made here is I put the death mark because if we look at the death mark module, what, what happens is when you mark it for death, it gets an increased uh, damage to anything, any whether it's your weapons or a teammate's weapons that actually impact it for a duration. Uh, it looks like it's about six seconds. So for those six seconds, any damage, including my, my vortex that happened to hit it, will take increased damage. So for the pilot, what I put on it, was that after activating its ability, the special repairs a portion of its mass durability. I, I have this in almost all of the bots. I think this is going to be a one of the main skills to have in the game when it goes to the live server. The other two, that the Spectre increases its weapon damage and that the Spectre has increased her ability. Okay, so that is the summary of my hangar. So without any further ado, let's get into the action. All right, here we go. Finally, after about 3 minutes and 30 seconds, we're into a match. Let's go here. Let's drop in an A. Start with the Aojun. Alright, so at least it's not 2v2 like previous test servers, so that's good. 
see here. Team Deathmatch. I have anybody. Yeah, so I have a couple people coming to the right. So let's go to the right. See what we can do. So I have a Raker here. Although I don't know why he's looking off to the nowhere, man, no man's land. Oh well, I'll see what I can do all by myself. I don't know what these guys are in. Oops, I didn't want to do that. Got rid of him. Well, I didn't kill him, somebody else did. So I thought some Ares there. Let's see what we can do. This guy's his ability again. I have a raker there who's going to probably suppress me when I jump up. Unless I can do it before. He can get me if you assume he doesn't have a quantum raider. Okay, so we get the Ares. Turn around so we can get the, the uh, Raker here. Just getting shot from behind. But that's okay. okay. Somebody just hit me with some suppression, it looks like. Or... Okay. I get around the corner here. I can let's go on up. Do what we can before I die here. And of course, I'm reloading. No, I'm dead. Yep, I'm dead. Okay, so let's see here. Let's go with the bulwark. Avengers have been doing pretty good. Need this guy to come down on one of these sides. So, so let's see if we can get him taken care of. Help my teammates here. If he's going to come back up or not, I'm going to keep an eye on him. I know he has resistance, but I'm going to have to reload here anyway, so I might as well just do what damage I can. See if I can cycle my shield a little bit. So what we have over here. Change target. There's another bulwark. See, there's that bug again. That guy's gone up in stealth and it's blue, not red. He's an enemy, and yet it's saying that my he's a, a teammate in stealth. die here, but that's okay. My last hand got triggered before I could activate my healing. So everybody's on this right hand side. Okay, let's see if I can get some some of these guys in some vortex. Get close enough to this guy. So when he lands, hopefully he's gone back behind cover. Come on, get out of my way. <laughs> By the time I get close enough to get to get somebody, uh, somebody else takes someone out. There we go. I got one. 
didn't actually do my death mark. So, oh, we got a Mercury coming in. Again, it says it's blue. 12 seconds before I can jump. Okay, I got him. Taking it there. He's got a shield. It's another bulwark there. Okay. I didn't do as much damage as I thought it was going to. Then his last stand. Okay, so should be able to hit him here. I hope. Actually, I'm going to go for that Aries. I've got him good. Wait for my things. A little death mark. Jump up. There we go. Oh, he must have the advanced healing module. He just healed just with everything I threw at him. And we still got another guy back there. Might as well just stay here. I'll wait until he gets closer. Then I'll jump out. Assuming he actually gets close enough that I can actually reach him. Alright, so. Going to. Death mark. Jump up. Oh, got him. So, another guy. There he is. What if I can curve him around here? Turn it. Nope. This guy already got taken out. Is there another one? Nope, there's another one. Good. I'll get close enough to him to do some more damage. He's just got roasted by, I think, that, or Ares with some Scourge. I think that's what he is in. Alright, is there one more bot? Or are they just going to not drop in now? Looks like that's going to be it. That's it. That's game. So let's see how we did, and then I'll give my final thoughts. All right, so the team, there we go. Third place, just over a million damage. Not too bad. All right, so my thoughts. Well, they haven't changed from the last week, that's for sure. I, I do think the pilots are a mistake, at least in their current iteration. Uh, I've heard some people mention it to akin of think of the pilots as just yet another level for uh, mo modules, essentially. Y you're just adding more skills to the game and just the pilots is the way to gain it. I am happy, though, that I saw they changed the unique ability for that one pilot for the Ares. Because if I'm not mistaken, its original ability was to increase the built-in weapon damage of the Ares by 25%. That's huge considering most people who run the Ares rely on that built-in weapon. So I'm glad they actually seem to have taken it completely off the list. But other than that, the pilots in general, yes, I know Pixani needs to make money, but they really should be doing it in a different way. It's really gotten confusing now. Pilots coming into the game brand new, they're already confused. 
looking at modules. Well, actually, when they first come in, they're trying to decide what to save their gold for, whether it should be some weapons or bots or the, the hangar slots. And then they have to worry about the boosters that's in the game now. They have to worry about active modules and passive modules. And now uh, we, we have the advanced version of the repair unit, which is absolutely insane. There is no need for an advanced version of any of these modules. The repair unit, the regular repair unit, was already powerful in my opinion. I don't see why you should be able to have an advanced version that essentially, f for lack of a better term, uh, heals completely what damage you've taken with most weapons. Yes, there are probably some weapons out there, for instance, Scourge, if you get close range, you just can't counter heal that. But for the most sake, like for instance, you saw me with my uh, Vortex Spectre. I, I hit a guy with four Vortex, and he just essentially healed everything I threw at him. Obviously, he had the healing module. Well, the advanced version, anyways. So, I don't think that's needed in the game. It, it sets a precedence for more advanced versions. Advanced quantum radar, advanced lockdown ammo, etc., etc. I, I think the game is just getting too complicated overall. Uh, simplicity sometimes is key. Uh, the, the saying goes, simple is better. And the more simple things are, the easier they are to understand. And the way it is right now, because of complexity and the number of skills and the variations you can have, you can't really plan any tactics around how you're going to go against a bot. Right now, at least if somebody had last stand, you would be notified once they hit the last stand and say, okay, well, now I need to back off and I need to regroup and I have to wait for his last stand to wear out. But now, with all these skills, that you have means to heal a bot over time, uh, it means that when the bot hits a certain durability, then it heals uh, quite a bit more. You have increased weapon damage. There's there, there's other items on there. There's actually too many skills actually to remember while you're on the battlefield. And for those who play FFA, there's no way you're going to remember what's, what skills you think anyways are on certain bots going against enemy four for instance and he has five bots and at least right now if you're going in ffa you can understand okay well enemy four had a mercury with that last stand you can remember that but now you can't remember who's having the advanced repair unit alongside increased damage you know increased healing ability and skills and even then you don't really know for certain what they have you're just kind of guessing depending on how much damage you're doing to them and versus how much damage they're doing to you not to mention if you're playing something like beacon rush or domination and they have those skills which increases the damage or increases their healing if your teammates hold uh, three or more beacons or if the enemy holds three or more beacons it just gets way too confusing too much in my opinion Will Pixonic reduce it and, and simplify it? No. Now, let's be honest. Pixonic has had this in their test server for, I think this is now the fourth week. And there has been very little changes from the, at least the last three weeks, other than that one unique ability I discovered today. I don't think the skills have really been changed or modified very much at all. And now with this test server, having more people in it and being able to play at once, I suspect this one... Um, update 5.1 is going to be just around the corner as is and I know there's going to be a lot of people who are against it and I know there's going to be some people who are all for it and those are mostly the whales the ones who don't have any problem spending hundreds of dollars whenever a new update comes out just to get all the new, new stuff get everything maxed out and I can understand those people who are in the upper champion and they, they need this stuff in order to compete because everybody else has the maxed out gear and bots and now pilots but it just creates a further divide in the matchmaking algorithm in order to be able to pair people up. You're going to have this massive amount of people probably in the, say, the diamond to expert one range. And there, you're going to have some people in there who maybe have some pilots leveled, uh, some of the modules leveled, etc. But then you're going to have those upper echelon people who just spend a lot of money in the upper champion league and if, if Pixonic wants 
to actually increase matchmaking, they need to increase the people in certain levels. And items like this just add more stuff to it, makes it more complicated and harder for people to upgrade. And you're just creating a wider and wider gap of getting somebody, for instance, from Expert 1 up into Champion League, through Masters up into Champion League, because they haven't been able to, to upgrade all these items that are required to compete in the Champion League era of metabots and modules and now pilots. Anyways, those are my thoughts. We'll just have to deal with it as it is. Uh, people like me, I'm in the, I think it's Expert 2 right now. I'm probably going to end up staying there for a while. I end up going against people who have Mark 2 level 12 stuff sometimes. Uh, sometimes I get a lot of people who are more in the same levels as me with levels 8, 9, 10 bots, uh, 8, 9, 10 weapons. Mark 1, I try not to use my modules very much. I, I just don't want to spend all the power cells and get uh, reliant on them. But anyways, those are my thoughts. If you have any thoughts or comments, please leave them below. And until next time, cause and mayhem in the field for me.